Tonight. Yeah, it really was uh, outstanding. Uh, come from behind, wind. Obviously, uh, both starters were, were throwing the ball very well. It didn't seem like there would be a lot of runs scored, but we were able to, to put some pressure on them and, and mount an ending and put a crooked number up there, which is great. Uh, but you know, Paxson continues to uh, be really dominant. You know, he's out there. I thought the first time through the lineup, you know, he was <laughs> right on everything. Second time through, they put some good swings on him. Uh, they did hit some balls at us, and you know, we'll take it. Um, and then you know the. You know, and they put the go-ahead run, you know, at second, third time we had a chance to get out of it. You know, the ball scoots away from uh, Zanino, and, and Merrifield made a very aggressive play. Uh, you know, I tip my hat to him for going for it there. I thought we had him, but, you know, Pax didn't hang out of the ball. And then uh, and our offense started to get it going. You know, big, uh, big double by Heredia. Uh, I thought, you know, we were very aggressive on the bases tonight. Uh, the stolen bases kind of put some pressure on them and created opportunities for us. And, you know, Dyson had another good game. Uh, great to see Leonis chipped in. and. You know, Robbie Cano's 500 double. You know, good for him. It's, it's been an unbelievable career he's had, and hopefully we get to see a, a few more of uh, those doubles and homers. So we haven't seen James have that kind of high leverage innings like he did in the fifth and sixth. I mean, he really had to work to get through those. He did. They made some good adjustments against him. You know, they, they were on the fastball, uh, you know, the breaking stuff they were laying off for the most part, and, uh, you know, they got a good club. They made adjustments, there's no doubt. You know, after the first time through, they had a different plan going up there. They were more aggressive. They squared up balls, and, you know, was fortunate to keep it down. He's really carried you here for a, for a month. I mean, he is. He has absolutely carried us. There is no doubt. And uh, I mean, he's embracing, you know, kind of being the guy uh, that we look to. Uh, I think, you know, you know, when he came out of the game tonight, you know, you look, all the teammates, kind of the, the, the feeling, you know, in the dugout, like he's our guy. And uh, good for him. He's worked his tail off. Um, you know, if you look at where he was a year ago to where he's come, it's awesome. And, and it's been a lot of hard work. Uh, he's very talented, but you still got to work your tail off, and it's nice to see him get the results. Your award winners coming through tonight with Pax and then Diaz closing now. He's in a nice group. Yeah, our bullpen was outstanding tonight. Um, Phelps to Vincent and then Eddie was right on point tonight. So you get those leads, you got to hold on to them, and our guys did a great job with it tonight. Couldn't have drawn it up much better, too, clean for all those guys to come out. Yeah, it was. And again, we tied the game. You know, we had some discussion about sending Paxton back out there. We felt he still had a little bit left in his tank, but. Uh, Anytime a pitcher you have that crazy play, whether it's at first base or home plate, it's you know it just gets them kind of you know off their spot, so to speak. But uh, you know once we took the lead, I felt real comfortable. Let's go to the, our guys, and obviously they held it down. And Dyson looks like he's, he kind of enjoys playing here. He really does. You know he's got a little hop in his step uh, this weekend, and, and we knew it would be that way. It should be that way. You know he's got a lot of good friends in the other dugout, and uh, he wants to play well, and he wants to beat them. And you know, good night for him. Yeah, you talked about the speed on the bases. Kyle Seager stole the base. Yeah, we had Kyle going a couple times tonight. I think, you know, going into the game, obviously with the late scratch of Cruzy and, and um, you know, we got to be creative and, and try to put some pressure on them. It's not always going to work, uh, but tonight it, it did. And, uh, you know, we got some big hits behind it too, which always makes it makes it look good and, and helps out. What is that something latest? he recorded with or did it get forced? I'm sorry? Is that something you got forced throughout the afternoon with him? Cruzy, yeah. You know, Cruzy was fine when he came in today. Um, he was in the cage, I think, taking some swings. and. You know, he had like a, a spasm up in a, his lat, in his neck area, and really locked up on him. So uh, we'll see how he is tomorrow. He's still uh, pretty tightened up, but you know, obviously when he's not in our lineup, it's it's a different looking lineup. Uh, we miss him greatly, but you know, guy stepped up tonight. Heredia gave us some good at bats, and that's what you got to do on those nights.